I'm now going to show you how to work safe within projects, how to uh, ensure pages are backed up and how if everything goes uh, pear-shaped, everything goes wrong, you can actually recover the whole project again. So it starts, this is in uh, C Electrical V8R1, it starts as you begin the software without any projects by going to File and System Settings. In the first tab there for General, make a, uh, an effort there to, to put a tick in the uh, automatic backup of pages. Uh, and change the interval to something suitable so that the page is backed up um, every five or ten minutes that you're working on it. You can also, if you close it before that time, you can also make sure that the page is backed up when the page is closed. So with that enabled, whenever you open up a project, so if I go into, for instance, uh, example two, whenever you open a page, as soon as you start working on it, you'll find um, that after five minutes the page is backed up. And after changes are made and the page is, is saved, uh, the page is then backed up as well. So if I close that page, because I made a change, it should be backed up. So if I right click on the page, at any point I can go back to uh, load backup. And this is the same in the basic, standard and advanced version. I can click on load backup and I've got this most recent version and one before that. So I can go back to that one, load it, and I can see that the object has moved back in there. So on any page that you've been working on, you have the option of loading backup and you can go back to a previous version of that page. Um, if the complete project gets damaged, so imagine that that project has been deleted by mistake. I'm going to close that one. There is a command, so under the commands tab, if you find the commands, you should see there is a command there and there is a command for um, recover from auto backup. Now what this allows you to do is specify a new project name. So I can call this example2 and I'll put leave the underscore recover in there. Click on save. I can choose the same template that I had before. So standard with function and location. And it then points you into a folder. Now this in V8R1, this is under users, public documents, IGE plus XAO, C electrical, V8R1 temp. Now in uh, V7R2, so the previous version, this was actually in a different folder. This was under Program Files, IGEXAO, C Electrical V7R2 and Temp. So it's in a slightly different folder. So I'm going to go back to this Public Documents one and I'll find there's a uh, Example 2 in there. Now for each page, it's described by number. So for the IEC, it's 1000 and for the uh, IEEE it's 1001. For a panel layout, for a cabinet page it's 1100. So this is the page type. You then have a series of underscores if you don't use function location. So this one has no function location. So I can see it's underscore, underscore, and then the page number. And then finally you've got a dollar one, dollar two, and dollar three for the last versions of that same page. So I can see here that this number three is the most recent version of that, that particular page, page number one for circuit diagrams. So what I'm going to do is select the most recent page from each of these. I'm going to click, hold down control, and I'm also going to take the cabinet layout. So I'm going to take the most recent version of the cabinet layout, so number two. So I'm taking the third one of the first page, and all of the others only have a single backup page. So now I'm reconstructing the project from those last, most recent versions. I click on open, and the project is reconstructed and we can see it's there it's got the page descriptions and it's got all the components exactly where we want them so it's a nice easy way of going back if everything has been uh, deleted or corrupted in some way you can go back and recreate that project